looks like two guys try and sandwich Ridley. You see, Derek Smith, his own teammate, is the guy yeah. who gets the stick up in the face of Jay Wells. Derek Smith's stick, no question about that. The Capitals weren't happy that the goal was disallowed. They seem were seeming to indicate down there that they had not heard any whistle. Momenta hit at the blue line by Scott Stevens. The Capitals touch the puck, the whistle blows. Provanka, who doesn't spend a lot of time in the penalty box, is now getting faded by Secord, and we've got Tarkin trying to go after Sheehy, and there will probably be some more penalties out of this little encounter. Now, oh, here comes Chiffrin in there. He comes in and has a heavy hand trying to grab Dale Hunter, and Secord now winds up holding on to Hunter in the corner as the linesmen move in and have to break up several little pileups going on, and Hunter and Secord still might get going. The linesmen don't get in there, and here they come. It's great, but now when you don't let them up, and this is, I'm telling you, this went on and on. Look at look at the legs. You see how Acton's got the legs of Mike? Look at that. Is he trying to let him go? Now he takes the gloves off. And like he wants to go at Ridley as if he's frustrated that Mike Ridley was not letting him go. A power play goal for Washington. Francis Getty hit in the corner by Secor. Secor drops the glove. He's going to go. And Francis Getty throws into the ice and winds up on top. Gets with a stick up in there with Secord. Secord doesn't like it. Responds with a high stick to the head of Francis Getty, and then the two just grab onto each other, and it's Francis Getty who wrestles Secord to the ice. Both get calls for roughing. And Mike, 6.52 gone in the second period. Not a single flyer shot on board. They haven't improved any in that department, have they? Here's Christian. A pass. also. Now, Peg Gustafson certainly gives a pretty good two-hander at this one. Now, Hextall is really furious. He is irate. I think they're going to give him out of the game. Is this, what, is this a situation where he's got the five minutes in the game this time? the one thing about this rule, Al, that I think really makes it equal out there. The goaltenders are no different than the rest of the players. In that regard, I'll tell you, Mike, there's no question Hextall gets a stick up into the mouth of Gustafson. And the way the rules have been written this year, every player on the ice is responsible for their stick. But we've seen much more flagrant stick work from Ron Hextall that never gets called, never gets bounced out of the game, and it's also watching Ben Gustafson in kind of an uncharacteristic manner. He gave a pretty good two-hander in there as well. And he's going for the puck, but he got a pretty good two-hander on Hextall. 
But Hextall wasn't going for the puck. No. I mean, he's got the stick up in the middle. Watch it again now. You can see Gustafson swing at this puck. Now he's making the save. He's got the stick up there as well. It's a high shot. A very tough call from that angle to see if Hextall is going after Gustafson. Leaps left side for Scott Stevens. Stevens comes barreling in. That's going to start something. The linesmen get in there in a hurry, and Stevens went after Tockett, I believe, and knocked him down. And then a couple of other flyers responded in time. Was it Tockett? I think hit? maybe it was Ronnie Sutter. He had Tockett came in high on Stevens. See, Scott Stevens takes a run behind. It's Mantha who he barrels into and gets a charging call. Rick Tockett comes in and goes high at Scott Stevens. He gets a high sticking call. 13 25 to go, third period. Well, tosses this one into the seat and out of play. Pushing and shoving going on in the aftermath. Up to Steve Leach. And outside the line, Wickenheiser is hit by Jay Wells. It's going to be a penalty call now, and Wickenheiser... And look at Rouch away, yeah. but here comes Rouch in to help him out. Wickenheiser skated away from it. He didn't want to get involved because he knew there was already a penalty against the Flyers player Wells, but Rouch will have none of that. He's not about to let his teammate get pushed around, and now he and Wells start to throw them. Helmet comes off and gets Wells in advantage. He tries to start throwing more punches now. Rouse is doing a good job of holding Wells off. Got him in a strong advantage now where he can't really throw any punches. And now off comes the helmet of Wells. And Rouse can start to connect. Is that exactly what the Capitals wanted to see out of Bob Rouse? One of the things they talked about when they had acquired him was his toughness and his willingness to stand up for his teammates. Lou Franciscini goes over there to congratulate him. Stick pounding over the Capitals bench. Rouse is going to be sent from the game. He'll probably get a misconduct from this as well. Seven, Jay Wells gets two minutes for roughing and five minutes for fighting. Washington number eight, Bob Rouse gets two minutes for instigating, five minutes for fighting, and a game is timed up, third man in. Well, <laughs> I'll tell you what. Wow. I don't like that. I don't like that being called a third man in a fight because Wickenheiser skated away and was not involved in the altercation. Out to Kortov. Pavanka goes to the corner. Mantha off the board. Two seconds. One second left. Capitals win it. Hatcher and Tockett tie up right at the horn. The game is over. Washington has won it. And the Capitals have taking a 6-1 to one verdict over the Philadelphia Flyers. Shots on goal in the third period. Philadelphia had nine, giving them a total of 16 shots on the night. And Washington with eight for a total of 40 shots for the game.